Uh, this comedian loves to talk with the audience, so you may not want to sit in the front row. Take a look. You're a cop? Really? They let you guys look cool now? Do you get offended by police jokes? You don't? Do cops tell cop jokes to each other? Oh, okay. I got one cop joke. <laughs> We're going to see how this goes, Ashley. <laughs> I'm going to tell it tonight, okay? But you ain't going to know when it's coming. You're going to be sitting there like, freeze! <laughs> now I want to know what the joke was. Joining us from the road is comedian and actor Nate Jackson. Nate, good morning. Good morning. How y'all doing? Doing well. Oh, we're great. You were something else. You always go there, don't you? No, I walk right up to the line and I look at it <laughs> and back up. Like, you know what? <laughs> yeah, so I, 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 I'm, I'm about I'm about smoke, not fire. There we go. Aww. There we go. You're well, hilarious. thank you so much for being here because we know you're a busy man. You're actually on the road right now on your "I'll Do It Myself" tour. So, where are you? What city were you last in performing? Uh, right now, I'm in Buffalo, New York. Okay. Uh, and where I was at last. Uh, I just had my birthday show in oh. Tacoma, Washington at my club, uh, the Super Funny Comedy Club. Uh, your boy turned 40. I know people don't say how old they are, but I'm proud. I made it. Well, look at so, you. Happy belated birthday. And congratulations, yeah. too, because you own your own uh, comedy club, right? You're one of four black-owned mm. comedy clubs, and yours is the biggest, from what I understand. Yeah, it's the biggest black-owned club in America, and there is six now. There's two little ones that just opened up in the South. I'm, I'm happy that we're growing. Yeah, that's Absolutely, amazing. and you are doing it big this November. You'll be coming to New York playing at the New York City Comedy Festival for the first time. So how excited are you to be a part of this whole thing? It's, it's 10 days, five boroughs, 200 plus comedians, 100 plus shows. Like if this isn't a huge show, I don't know what is. <laughs> yeah, this, this opportunity is, is uh, surreal. It's fantastic. Like uh, years ago, I was just trying to gig around in New York. And now with mm. the explosion of the success on the internet with TikTok and people actually seeing my talent and wanting to come out, I've been afforded the opportunity to literally perform in a venue that I was like, man, one day. So uh, when I do this show, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to act a plum fool on this day, <laughs> on Thursday the night. Now, I have to be honest with you, it, it, it has sold very well, but there are, I think, 200, maybe 220 seats left. And what people are doing is the, they bought the whole floor out because they want to be talked to and roasted. Get them. out. And they, and they left some seats in the balcony. But they don't know I'm going to go up to the balcony. Yes. And gonna, yep. I, if I got to have a flashlight, I'm going to roast some of this balcony. You know I mean? uh, you're going to get them. You're gonna get I'm going to get a hold of them. You're talking about your success on TikTok. You have more than 4 million followers. It's 3 million, but 4 sounds good to me. OK, well, let's just go with 4, right? Yeah, no, it's three million followers in, um, in about seven and a half months. Uh, a friend of mine, Matt Reif, who I don't know, a lot of people seem to be familiar with him now, he told me to get on there, and I took his advice and uh, just bringing my skill set to the platform, and it, I don't know, it just, it just clicked up. the algorithm. Man, my God, did I. And so now I'm just playing, I'm, I'm just playing catch up. I can't believe it. I, I can believe it, but it's yeah. hard to fathom. Well, what do you, what do you think it is that people were so drawn to? I mean, obviously, you are hilarious. But TikTok is not an easy an yeah. easy platform where people are just quick to jump on board. But they love you. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I pride myself on being, I'm actually funny. That's one. <laughs> so, um, and then two, uh, I mean, I've been doing comedy 18 years, so I'm, there's a legit a payoff, there's a laugh, there's something worth your time in, in anything that you watch. Like, that's the part where you lose people on social media. They watch, they watch one and it's good, they watch another one and it misses. I'm not posting it if it doesn't hit. So I'm putting up quality content consistently, right. and I think that's the key. There you go. And you have, yeah, now, y'all do not have to show that picture of me tearing that chair up. We're going to show it all. We're going to show it all. And speaking of social media, of course, we're sleuthing, you know, checking out your, your Instagram. I know. Oh, man. Talking about your jerseys. Your sports team, Jersey Game, obviously, it is strong, but it's hard to tell yeah. which is your favorite team because you have so many. So how many jerseys and hats do you actually own? Uh, I, I actually uh, just got sponsored. I'm happy to say I just got sponsored by Mitchell, Mitchell and Ness uh, out of Philadelphia. That's their flagship in um, the L.A. 
branch of them. We're, we're going to, you're going to see a lot more jerseys. Um, I think we should be doing that. I think we should support our players. I think we should support the teams that, and, and be, be strong fans. So I try to get something in every city that I have been in. And since Mitchell and Ness is based out of Philadelphia, I have heavy Philly stuff, but as far as teams Ooh. go, I'm, I'm from Seattle. Okay. So my football team is the Seattle Seahawks. Um, baseball team, I'll wear any baseball team as long as I like the player that I have on, and then I'll wear any basketball team as long as I like the player. I used to not do that, but after they stole the Sonics in the night, wow. I was like, you know what? I'm going to support the players instead of the teams, but I just can't get over the Seahawks. That's my guys. You know, it's amazing because you said 18 years you've been in comedy. To see yourself where you are now, what's that feel like? Is it surreal? Mm -hmm. And what, what advice would you give to other young comics that are trying to find their way up? Yeah, it, it, it's surreal. And so it may, it may be a little too much insight to the industry, but there's really no middle class in comedy. You're either at the bottom trying to figure it out, or you're at the bottom trying to look like you're at the top, or you're at the top trying to look like you're not at the bottom anymore. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I was on the cusp and it hit and now I, I'm on the other side of it. Uh, there's there's a lot of people that are waking up to the concept, but mm -hmm. uh, the entire 2023 has been sold. I've sold over 30,000 tickets this year out of nowhere. Like I, every single show has been sold out this year. So wow. I'm thankful. I thank God for, for letting it happen, let the growth and incre increase happen. The advice that I would give to a younger comic or any aspiring artist is to please get on the internet. Please, yeah. please yeah. build your audience. Find them before, you, and don't expect them to come find you. It costs too much. Gas is too high. It takes too much energy. <laughs> Make it easy for them. Just be be the dope version of yourself and put it on their put it on their phones or their YouTube yeah. or TV or screen. Get to them somehow, and don't wait on nobody. Do it yourself. That's right, yeah. Nate. It's it, great advice, and it's awesome to see you literally living your dream. Something tells me forty is going to be a great year for you. Yeah. All right, Nate. Yeah, it's, going, it's going down. Yep. All right, congrats to you, and we will see you here in New York yes. on November 9th at Town Hall. The New York Comedy Festival runs November 3rd through November 12th. Tickets are on sale right now and can be purchased at nycomedyfestival.com. He's going to find you. I just want to say, I did, I, did wear, wear, I, did, I did wear the same outfit from the promo on purpose. I need y'all to know that. <laughs> okay. Continuity. Thank you, Nate.